Well, hi there. My name is Charmin and I have a little YouTube channel called SWF Beach Life. Now, every week I go out to these ridiculously beautiful locations and basically I go beach combing and I look for all sorts of stuff, including things like this seashell as well as this sand dollar. Now, because I go out every week, I do tend to pick up a lot of beach treasures and I get that question every week what do you do with all of those shells? So I am happily going to answer that question for you. I will show you where my shells start out, what I do with them, where I store them, and I'm gonna let you in on some new plants that I have. So if you are ready, let's talk about seashells. Okay, this is probably the favorite part of my house, my shell station. So when I come home from a beach trip, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the shells and something, some, or actually this very colander, I'm gonna rinse them off and then they get spread out on that big board that I show you guys and then I shoot the shells. When I'm done, I then bring the shells over here and basically I kind of try to figure out what am I doing next with it? Am I gonna keep it? In which case it just goes inside of my collection. That's what we're gonna talk about next. Do I want to clean it? So I have a bunch of stuff that I'm kind of figuring out here, like this. Look how be look at the shape of this is beautiful. A lot of weight on there. So I'm going to clean this. And a lot of these different shells are kind of just in that in-between stage. I haven't quite figured out what to do with them, do with them. I haven't cleaned it up yet. So the shells will start here. And then from here, they're going to make their way inside. I'm either going to add it to my collection, I'm going to put it to the side to make something eventually, or I'm going to sell it. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, as far as the shells that I keep, um, mostly they're in glass, same as they always were. I did periodically, or I've gone through this a couple times, and I kind of take out the shells that are a little bit beat up, and I just left with Oh, the super pretty one. So that is my lightning walk tower. I do have a couple of the albinos. I just kind of positioned it so that all those gorgeous tops are pointing out. So that's my lightning walk collection. Then we have this jar. This is a mixed mat. It's just a gorgeous jar. So I just really like it. And so we'll have, looks like I see some sunray venus clams, a crown conch, alphabet cones. And so this is almost, I don't have a lot of room left. So I'm almost done filling that jar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to recycle things, um, just replace them as I find new things. This is my little tower of the fighting conchs. I love the fighting conchs. So I have an entire little tower dedicated to those little beauties. So they just sit there. Then I have also have an olive tower. So these are all just ridiculously shiny, pointy, glossy, beautiful olives. So that's my olive tower. This is from the East Coast. This is from, let's see if I can figure out, I see a lion's paw, so that's probably Juno. When I went to the East Coast. So these are all East Coast shells in here, including my hamburger bean that I got at Dania Beach. This is also East Coast shells because the scotch bonnet. So I just kind of put those to the side. So for now, I mean, who knows if I'll keep them separated. That's just kind of what I'm doing now. This guy that's kind of rocking around, that is a lightning walk that I found out at South Marco that I put a couple of plants in and that is doing fantastic. Um, let's see, this is my wentil traps. So I have, at this point, I have actually found some. So I keep them in this adorable little jar. So that's for my wentil traps. This is also tinier East Coast shells. These are my worm snails. I put all worm snails, sometimes augers and serrets. So I just like that little collection. This is a mixed match of everything and anything. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So you're gonna find all sorts of cool, what do I got in here? It's a pear whelk, base scallop, alphabet cones. Oh, there's a bittersweet, that's an East Coast shell. So those, that's, and I just, I just like the way that they're all mixed matched, all the different textures and colors. That's probably my favorite way just to store them. Um, and then this is just a little collection. This is the same, it is, I think this is actually a candy dish. 
And so th these are just a little bit smaller. So this kind of, uh, these are based on size. Again, just all mix matched, all different little shells. So that's round one. Let me get some of my other stuff out. Okay, we are ready for the next round of goodies. This is just, a, it was this originally I've got, and I was just gonna put my dark stuff in it. So you'll find like some of those black scallops and things that I find. But then I started putting like older stuff. This is a buttercup lucine, but look. And it's, it's almost like stones. That is super cool. And check this crown conch. And it's just, so this is just kind of older stuff that I put in that dish. Here's some sand dollars. And that's it. I just put them in this little scallopy looking bowl. And uh, yeah, those, these. Now, some of you might not know what these are. These are apple snails. This is a land snail. And I actually have a pile of them outside that I'm wanting to clean. And one of these days, maybe we're gonna go take a little excursion. We'll go out and we'll go looking for apple snails. Um, so yeah, look for that in the future. Some of my other, I get just kind of glass containers. This. A mishmash of all different, mostly medium-sized stuff. So that's going to go. And that candy look. I love this jar. And that candy looking thing. I love this jar. And this has all just different. All mixed matched different. This one's kind of nice because it has a top. I don't have to worry about dusting it as much as the other stuff. What else do we have? Tiny things. Okay, so in here, these are going to be like my rice olives. And the dwarf olives, just super tiny stuff goes in here. And then little shells go in here. I had seen a turkey wing. Let's see if I can find it. Look at, look how cute that turkey wing is. So anything that'll fit through that top, I kind of put those little guys in there. And then the super duper tiny ones, I have two little jars of those little tiny, these are baby lightning whelks and pear whelks. And then I have this this random jar of just awesomeness. We have a true tulip, some of those nice sized horse conchs. These. So sometimes that's if you leave that periostracum on the shell. This is what it looks like if you have it off. And so that's my next special project video. We're going to be talking about how to clean shells again because I found a new product. But let me get through this collection video for you guys first. So that's the next set of stuff. Okay, here's our next grouping of shells. These, this guy, this guy, and this one. These, all three of them, I found and I did not make a video. That was when I went out after Hurricane Ian and I found those horse conks that I auctioned off. So I didn't make a video, but I did find these three and I did, those are the three that I kept. So I auctioned all the other ones off, but I did keep those three. These are my shark teeth, shark teeth that I found along the way. I don't have too many. Maybe this summer we'll spend some time adding to that shark tooth collection. These are some of my angel wings. My husband grabbed this blue container, threw some angel wings on there. It looks pretty okay. So I've just kind of left it for now. This, all right, so now we're into my bigger shells. This is the one that I, my first one. This is the first big shell I ever found. This I found on Captiva. So that was that first big one I ever found. This one was from Shell Island. That big old lightning whelk was just sitting there. That's a Shell Island. This is my big first horse conch. This I found snorkeling up at Stump Pass. And then this I found at Key Waden. This was that lucky one right as we were leaving. And so yeah, so I got this at Key Waden. And if you look, it's kind of pitted. And even, even this one. So, you know, you can repair them and do things to them. And somebody who's kind of expert at that is Beach Girl Studio. So I am obsessed with what she does with her artwork. I don't buy a lot of shells, but I did buy this. I bought this from her. It is absolutely stunning. I love her. She is beautiful and I've seen her do some other. So I can't help but promote Beach Girl Studio. I absolutely love her stuff. And then now we're gonna talk about a couple other things that I've purchased. Now, I personally do not buy shells to add to my collection, but that doesn't mean that I don't buy shells per se. Got this at a thrift store and I just thought that was the coolest. So it's like almost like a little change purse made out of a scallop. Let's see if I can show you what's in here. We have, Okay, we have an auger, a cone bittersweet. Looks like a little dove snail. So 
So that, so I did purchase that and then this, this I, I got that also at a, uh, a flea market and I just couldn't resist. I've worn it once. It's not the most comfortable thing, but isn't it beautiful? You'll die. You would die if I told you how much I bought it for. I'll let you guess. Go ahead. Go ahead. Put in the comments. Go ahead and guess what I spent on that gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. Okay. Moving right along. So this was also purchased kind of like a segue piece. My best friend in the whole world bought me this. Look, it's like a little enameled shell. And then inside here, I have shells I cannot identify. We have some of those, probably a mauve mouth drill, Atlantic oyster drill, some of those drills that confound me. So figure one day, if I keep looking at them, I'll figure them out. So that is one I think that was gifted to me, but notice it is a Florida fighting conch. That does happen to be kind of one of the collections that I like a lot. So this bucket, I don't really consider to be part of my collection. I sell these more, so I kind of just hold on to these, but I do have this entire bucket and they're decent shape too. I mean, pretty much all of them are in, in pretty good shape. So technically it's part of my collection, but really these are, these are like my jeweled prize uh, Florida fighting conchs. So these are gonna be all shiny and all different colors and stripes. And let's see, what do we got? Well, oh, this one's knobless with those, look at that. Is that not cool? This guy's a little bit orange. Be it's just beautiful. So these are, the, those are my fighting conchs. Oh wait, actually I'm not done. I forgot about my lantern. So I also have this big lantern. It's kind of filled with the fighting conchs and I have some fairy lights. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Ta-da! So that's another little thing of fighting conchs. Those are mine that I keep. And then I also have a little urchins. I also put those in one of the, uh, one of those little lanterns. So that, okay, that's almost all of my fighting conchs, except for this other piece. Now this piece, I was trying to get a little creative. It was a candle. I burned it. I filled it with these fighting conchs and then put these other candles in it. And the intention, I was going to sell it and I couldn't. I couldn't, there's so many awesome fighting I just love the way that it looked. So I did find a couple of smaller, these are, what are these called, oh, dough bowls. So I found a couple of smaller ones and I found, um, filled this one with those fighting conks. I filled this one with lightning whelks and these I will be selling over on my Etsy store. So that is something I would like to now really kind of kick off and get a little bit more serious about selling some of these shells on Etsy. I've been having a lot of fun going to the thrift store and picking up different, I love the way that the shells look in glass. So I'll be filling these, maybe adding different candles. I don't know, we'll figure it out as I go. So that's something else that will be um, up on the Etsy store. Again, just check back there. I will be adding things on a regular basis. And then I just wanted to show you my most favorite fighting conch that I haven't shown how I found it quite yet. It is so super brand new to me, but this, I'm obsessed with this fighting conch. So this is my new favorite, my most favorite shell that I have, but I do have some other shells. Now let's take a look at some of my white shells that I neglected to show you the last time I did a collection video. So this is my bowl of whites. And so this will be discolored shells, shells that are naturally white. Um, so yeah, all my whites are in here. I forgot to show you guys last time. So like this crown conch, now it's got a little bit of color on it, but it's it's mostly white. So I feel like it can live like this, it can live here. So I'm actually gonna dump this out and kind of see what's on the bottom. I suspect it's gonna be like older shells and stuff. And I also suspect a prediction, there's gonna be a ton of sand in there. So I'm gonna kind of carefully dump them out into this tray. And then we'll kind of see what's on the bottom of this fine bowl of white goodies. So there's most of the white shells. I mean, for the most part, um, we're just looking at some of those angel wings. I got a couple of sand dollars. You know, what was weird is that there does seem to be a lot of the crown conchs have the, are that whitish color. So I did find kind of a lot of those, which was a little weird. What did I want to show you? There was two things. I wanted to show you this. So that's an albino horse conch. And it's aperture, it's a little bit broken, but kind of cool, right? So that is a true albino. Some of these are not, like this, this is not an albino. This is just an older olive that's just been hanging around as well as like these shark eyes. I can tell, there, there's just, there's a little bit of color. They are not albino, but they're still white. You know, they're not albino, they're white. So I kind of kept them with this collection. This shell, this I found at Little Hickory. 
and I thought that was so cool, but it's a wedding shell, meaning it's not native to this area. Area, It's a turd of some sort, um, but it's not from Florida. So kind of fun, and it happens where you'll find, find shells that are not native to that area. It's still a cool find, oopsies, but you know, it's not really from here. So, oh, and uh, was there a sand in the bottom? There was a little bit of sand, not as much as I actually anticipated. And I think I found all my baby's ears. So that's where all my baby's ears have been hiding. So these are the white collection, but I'm not quite done yet because I also have my special box. Okay, um, here's the special box. So this is really more just stuff that I kind of want to, uh, it's just a little bit different. I don't want it to get buried in some of my other collections. And then other stuff, frankly, it's random. I don't know why it's in here. So... Let's see what we got. Oh, okay, a rosy wolf snail. That is a land snail. Kind of fun. A couple other little pieces and just a, a particularly beautiful fighting conch. A juvenile one. We got some true tulips, scotch bonnet. Here's another, that is just strange though. Look at the coloring. So that is also a fighting conch. That kind of reminds me, where's my banded? There it is. Of my banded con yeah that's a good one so the super duper so that's my most rare shell that I have it is still hanging out in my special box with some a couple other alphabet cones so it's just it's just chilling but I got a couple of lace murex a couple of moon snails my lion's paw those I don't have very many of so that is my that's the best lion's paw I have and then this was kind of cool. I had found this. It's like almost like stone. And it is the inside of a clam. So it's like a fossilized chunk of, of clam, which is kind of cool. So that goes in the special box. These are the rose murex. Those are some of my rose murex. And this, ex look at that. So that's a chestnut turban. So it's stuff like that, like stuff that's like really, really beautiful. I'll go ahead and kind of separate it and kind of keep it in here. And some other rando kind of stuff. My leafy jewel boxes. This is, is this albino? It's not a, it, you know what? I think it is, but it's just, it's this terrible shape. It's just, I want that beautiful, smooth, glossy. So this one is the stand-in. So that that is standing in until I can find my real, and these are also, they're light. It's not, they're not albino. I should probably just, they don't need to be in here anymore. Oh look, and these are my pieces of jay. So Genonia, I have found pieces. This about constitutes, I might see one more little piece in here. Yeah, a couple little pieces. So I have found pieces, I'll, I'll find it eventually. Winged Atlantic Oyster, a couple of cool lightning whelks, some beautiful, here's my turkey wing. So from Honeymoon, I found that turkey wing that had the periostracum on it. And I didn't do anything, I, was, I didn't want to take that periostracum off. So it just kind of looks, Kind of looks dirty, right? But the shell itself is absolutely beautiful. So for now, I'm just leaving it like such. And then this gorgeous crown conch. Look at the color on that. Isn't that crazy? Beautiful. So that's my special box. Now, oh, you know what? Just real quick. So that, I think that's a Florida. Um... This is a colorful moon snail. See, these I find all the time. And I actually think that this is, a, I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. I'll go ahead and, actually this one I still think is a gaudy. It's just kind of a funny color. This I think might be another kind of moon snail, but I kept it because it looked weird. So I just held on to it anyway and I put it in my special box. So that's some of the other kind of cool stuff I kind of put to the side. And then there's other projects that I will be working on. So a combination of things, there's some stuff I'm gonna keep. This is a printer tray. So I'm gonna fill this with seashells. This is a keep project. This is something I'm going to keep. I did happen to find one, <laughs> one lone worm snail that I'm gonna put in there. But so that is gonna be a printer tray, completely filled with shells. So that's gonna be cool. This I'm not gonna keep. This I'm gonna fill and I'm gonna sell. So this is a, uh, lamp that my husband grabbed from a thrift store. So I'm gonna find my, I'll find it a cup, a lampshade, and I'm gonna fill it with Southwest Florida seashells. And so that's something that eventually will show up on Etsy. And then there's this picture frame that I've made, and this is a keep thing. I am not, um, at least right now, I'm not planning on selling it, maybe in the future, but 
So that's a picture frame I made. And then I also made a shell mirror. And then here is my shell mirror. So that's like the first kind of project that I worked on. And I really like the way it came out. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe I can make a few more and get that also on the Etsy store. And then speaking of Etsy, there was this one last thing that I forgot to show you. So we're going to wrap this so up. So soon as I am finished shooting this video, I'm going to wrap this last thing that I do have ready to go up on the Etsy store. So thank you so much for tuning in and kind of listening to what I do with all my shells. I absolutely love going out to the beach and sharing my walks with you. And now maybe I can even share more by getting this stuff up on Etsy. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you out on the beach one of these Sundays real soon.